First, you'll need to grab a popsicle stick, a rib, a comb, a string, a bowl with water, and a large amount of clay. Then, knead the clay to get rid of air bubbles. Make it into a ball and cut the ball in half with a string. Once the ball is cut, pat the two halves of clay into a ball. When one half of the clay is round, begin the pinch pot technique. Place your thumb in the middle and push halfway into the ball. Then, begin pinching. After reaching the desired pinch pot, repeat this process with the other half. Making them roughly the same size is essential to make the pumpkin. After both pots are done, score, slip, and smooth. Scratch the top of each pinch pot, add a touch of water all over the edge, and put one pot on top of the other. Take the popsicle stick, or a rib, to attach both pots together, swiping the popsicle stick or rib from the bottom up or diagonally. The two pinch pots will gradually become one if you keep on smoothing with the rib. After the hollow ball is smooth, you can roll it around the table or pat it to achieve the desired roundness. After the shape of the pumpkin is made, you'll need to make the stem by taking a small amount of clay and making a coil. After making the short coil, score one end and where you want to attach it. Wet both scored areas and attach the coil to the pumpkin. Add another small coil around the stem to help you smooth and attach the stem to the pumpkin well. After that is done, take the side of the popsicle stick and imprint it vertically around the pumpkin. Then, outline the eyes, nose, and mouth, or your preferred design, on the pumpkin. When you're happy with your design, carve it out with a needle tool. When your pumpkin is carved, there will be some harsh edges, so just smooth them out with your finger or take a wet or damp paintbrush and run it all along those jagged edges. Once your pumpkin is nice and polished, you're done with the construction of your pumpkin.